Martin Mystery was a French-Italian-Canadian joint production, which ran for three seasons, had 66 episodes, and started in 2003. The show's lead was Martin Mystery, which was his actual name, and he was a 16-year-old that solved mysteries. It's kind of like a Scooby-Doo thing going on in this show. There was Diana, and he, she, they like traveled around together. And then they had a caveman named Java. He was the team tracker, which I guess was a skill he learned as a caveman. Yeah. I remember really enjoying the show. I'm not gonna get super manic this episode. This is a spooky Canadian kid shows where like the 16 video I just did. This is this is more about saying, hey, I like this show. And it's and oh. comedy. And it's October, so I want to talk about spooky stuff. We'll do weird stuff again later, and I promise I'll get I'll get more heated, like in my in my classic Daniel Cook video. But for now, we're just like, this show is fucking awesome. And yeah, it was. Um, there's one episode I remember really vividly and fondly because it both terrified me, and I actually kind of made a game out of it when I was a kid. It's the episode where the shadow or being in the darkness was the your detriment like that was the danger zone that's where the monster thrived and operated and if you were in light like a street lamp which they used to hide in you could uh, avoid it i don't remember what the episode's called and i haven't been able to fi find it i bet if i searched a little bit harder come on ben in post-production i know you can find it uh then I'll, I'll leave that here so you can find it and watch it yourself and i just i used to play this game solely because of how uh much this episode influenced my imagination where I'd have to try and stay under streetlights. Like I'd be playing outside in, at night and I would run between streetlights and try to beat my own time getting in between them. It was like just some stupid game that some bored kid in a town with nothing to do did to pass the time. So I just like dart between the streetlights and with friends and... No, actually I think I was by myself. In the long tradition of children's shows, the theme song is a fucking banger. Like, holy shit, this is good. I liked the characters in the show. I, they had like kind of that early 2000s, I'm a cool teenager thing going for them, which me being a not very cool child was like, that's awesome, that's my shit. Uh, the, the spiky hair and the caveman was funny. There was a crossover episode with Totally Spies, which was pretty wicked. Yeah, it's a good show. Um, I was pretty stoked to rewatch an episode or two. It holds up. And I would recommend it if you are looking to show a horror-themed show to your children this Halloween season. And you don't want to just show them Scooby-Doo. There you go. That's my review. That's, that's what I have to say about Martin Mystery. I was going to go a little bit longer and try to crack a couple more jokes. But my I don't know what I ate or what I drank. But oh my god do I have to go to the bathroom. So we're going to wrap this up. Thanks for watching this episode of Spooky Canadian Kid Shows. I'm not kidding. I'm about to burst. I'm like... I got really bad gas right now. I'm leaving this all in, but we got to raise the spook meter first. I'm going to give it a, a real, just because, okay, 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 okay. Spook meter down. Thanks for watching.